Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Daily message or daily messages here for you. And you know that the daily messages here in this particular reading are quite extensive. Not affiliating with any zodiac sign. If you want to be in particular for your zodiac sign, look for other readings because I do the daily now as well. Well, let's see, loves. What do we have for you? And how the things are going? I hope everybody is well. September 8th, we are looking as we speak. All right, loves. I choose to look into the tea leaf cards, felt quite strongly pulled into this. Let's see, loves, what do we have here? And how the things are there for you. I will pull three cards as messages. And let's see. Okay, we have wishes come through. We have both with money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. And next, an emotionally secure loving family is important to you. So there is something here like an achievement. Either somebody here is leaving you something or is writing something or you are writing something, giving to somebody here. So look at here at the bottom we have the whale, great worry over nothing. There's something here about like I will lose something or I will go, not good. Somebody here might get in, a, in away with something. But whatever you and your family wanted, you will get it. It's kind of like the, the storm is passing or the storm will pass. For others of you, there is something here you've been struggling to now. Now certain fruits or certain results coming. And I feel here there's a, a peaceful energy. But whatsoever, whatever you are getting, yes, there is some wishes coming in, but don't celebrate before you have in hands what you need to have or before you get to the shore. If you're still swimming into something, if you're still going through something, do not celebrate yet. Okay? I will always say that being humble into certain things or towards certain things will give you more out of those. All right, my coffee looks great and I almost done with it, but here I am with all of you trying to bring messages. I've been calling in very, very strong. And I hope everybody's doing, doing quite a week. Yes, we are moving towards this beautiful entrance of good energies. Also, for some of you, this month, your consistency will show and will be paid off. But let's see. One overarching energy... We have four of pentacles. There's something here you are holding quite tight. Okay. And moon. There's still some kind of fear of something. Three of cups. That's what we're speaking here about the wish and celebration. Okay. Judgment. There is some kind of lesson for some of you needs to learn from. But let's see. 
Eight of Cups. Eight of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Three of Wands. There's a lot of Queen of Pentacles is showing lately. Probably because we are in the Virgo season or somebody really needs to hear certain messages here. Four of Wands again. You will get what you are expecting, loves. Trust in the divine. Because I feel here there's somebody who's like, ah, I don't believe it anymore. That's why I'm saying trust in the divine, the wheel of fortune. In this deck is the wheel of fate. Six of cups. Ace of Swords and Fool taking a leap of faith into something new. Yes, I might speak here with um, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn with a Sagittarius, an uh, Aries, or a Gemini, and I have the Moon. Piscean or Cancerian. So I feel here you are walking through something. Whoever I'm speaking. And now is the time. Now is the time. It's kind of now is the time for you to fill up your cup. And not overthink. Because whatever you don't see is because you you have certain fear or some certain things you don't believe in it. And for some of you, you, you might be in fulfilling a past life situation or dealing with a past life situation. But within four weeks, four days, four weeks, could be sooner, this is surfacing, resurfacing. There is somebody here into a new life. If somebody here were afraid to face a situation, now they realize that they need to. Or they must to. Judgment and death. And underneath we have Ace of Cups here. So it's a rebirth of some kind of situation. And yes, I do speak here with somebody. Probably now it's single and going through a big transformation. And might be a little afraid of the energy which are coming to, towards them. The thing is to not hold back. Don't be afraid. But let's see. Eight of Cups, Two of Swords, I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it, Eight of Swords, Hangman, it's feeling like nothing goes the way it needs to. Three of Wands, Five of Cups. There are certain things here somebody has regrets towards whatever happened with them or whatever situation been. But the world is very much outspoken here to tell you that whatever was, you can't change it. 
whatever you can change is how you are doing now and how the things will be done in the future or you will do it in the future. There is a situation here, again, it's a, it's a past life or it's a past situation resurfacing. You, for some of you, could be a love energy. If you felt like you you done an over with somebody from your past, and when you feel this, that, well, it's over, never ever will happen, and things like that, I will never talk with them. There is some sort of communication coming in. Let's see here, Ace of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Whatever it's here, it's coming quite slow. For others of you, you want to say certain things to somebody. And it's very hard to decide actually to make that move or to take that step forward. But I feel here the universe is guiding you to move forward with the Wheel of Fortune and the Fool. I feel here it's kind of like whatever it is, heck with that. I'm, go I'm going. Let's see, Queen of Pentacles, because I'm feeling here Nine of Swords, you, you've been thinking quite a lot about this move. Queen of Pentacles, speak to me here. World, Queen of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Three of Swords. And magician. And underneath here we have three of pentacles. There's something here, somebody here regrets that didn't work. As you see here, we have all the trees. Somebody here might come to you, loves. And tell you that they regret that they created a third party or you've been in a third party. Somebody here is saying I'm sorry or comes with an honest apology from your past. And it's not that they want to, to reunite. For some of you, yes, they want to come around to you. But for others of you, whoever comes, could be you going to somebody, could be somebody coming to you. But it's it's more likely, I don't want to stay in this stuck energy. I just want to move forward. Somebody here is struggling for quite a long time to move forward. It's like their conscious is not letting them unless they will come forward and say certain things. Whoever is this person, they are single. They are not with whoever. If you've been in a relationship and you put somebody in, in, in a third party, you want to say that. If somebody here was in some sort of relationship and they were very afraid to let it go, that connection, for whatever reason, because, you know, we all in a different timeline, they moved on from whomever. They let it go, those that person or that situation they are single now but i feel here there's a very much hurt energy around them and they are hurt that they cannot speak with you there is some type of blockage here there is some distance between you two but they want to say certain things to you full energy If it's a family member here and 
you cut off from life or they cut you off whoever cut off from whomever and whoever shut down first that person wants to come around full energy ace of wands yes i want to move towards something else i want to leave again because somebody here feels like they are not six of wands they want to feel alive again strength whatever is here whatever talk whatever truth will make this person again if it's you or other will make them actually to to move forward in a in a better way or in a better direction it's like somebody here feels in the dark right now and they they need to make a step like i'm feeling here that whoever is this person and i feel here they do care a lot about you and they it's it's an energy that whomever I'm speaking here, that this person is, is not somebody careless, is actually on the opposite, but it's, there is something here is not letting them to move forward, either whatever happened. So if that happened with somebody you've been dealing in the past, or I feel here there's something here, family energy, or there's something here that they felt like family, whatever you call family, could be, you know, work situation and you have a conflict, could be actual family, could be a friend who you consider a family, could be a love situation, you consider them family. There is something here that it's kind of what I'm hearing, this person could be very successful in the past and they feel here they lost that gift or that blessing just because whatever they done to you or whatever happened so they for them they realize with the judgment here they need to do something here which they never did so they can move into something else as you see here we have three aces ace of cups ace of wands ace of swords ace of pentacles is missing so somebody here lost they are not trajectory but they again they they are not where they need to be so whatever the case was let's see six of wands i feel here this could be a good energy here but let's see uh where's the ace of pentacles i will look for the ace of pentacles this person is looking for different ways to come forward okay so indeed here this person could take a long time we have nine of cups ace of pentacles and seven of pentacles they could take a lot or a long time till they could come to you so it's a it's a big deal for this person to do whatever they they do now or whatever they will do it you know there is people here who who might hear that somebody here could have a hard time to say sorry and indeed they are energies they are people they are souls who uh, have a hard time to apologize it's not that it's a hard thing because saying sorry is not a hard thing, but for them to do this or for others just to take a step forward or out of comfort zone, because I feel here whoever is this person feels like their comfort zone is compromised. But they want to. They manifested this. They want this. Let's see. One advice, one message here coming in for you. 
King of Swords. Queen of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. And Eight of Wands. It's kind, kind of somebody here is wearing their heart on their sleeves and take action. And underneath we have Page of Cups an apology. There's something here, indeed, it's it's very strong. And it's kind of somebody here, it's been planning for this or plan for this for quite a long time, but only now feel that their heart is allowing to go forward. So whatever they are here to say, they will speak from their heart. And I feel here with Nine of Pentacles here, confidence needed for this person. Or this person needed to get that, you know, confidence to go forward. So they are to speak out. Yeah, the Emperor. Yeah, this person is something else. Ten of Cups. It's like, <laughs> I'm not laughing, but somebody here is is crossing their ego because they want something here really bad and that could be happiness they could be they there's a person here who could be unhappy for quite a long time so here we are loves i hope this speaks and connects with all of you but whoever does this is to bring blessings in their life because, you know, many times we are dealing in life with certain things. And unless we do something here out of ordinary, will not bring those things towards us. And it's a fact. Whoever I'm speaking here, bless you. And I'm happy that whoever is this person and takes actions and speak they are true inside feelings love and light and of course we'll see you next time namaste